Welcome to another video. So, if you guys remember, about a month ago, I covered E2 BAI artifacts, which was pretty good, because you could just go to the site and use it with Claude, 3.5 Sonnet, and others for literally free. However, after the video I did, many people jumped onto it, and they apparently limited it, but it was opened again some time later. Actually, I was recently checking it out again, and you won't believe what I found. It now has OpenAI's O1 for free, and it's not the O1 Mini model, but the actual O1 Preview model, which is just insane to think about. Plus, the UI also seems to be upgraded, which makes it really cool to look at and very similar to V0. So, I thought I should share it with you guys, because it's really very cool to use it for free. Although, I don't know if it will remain that way for long, because after my videos, it generally gets limited as many people start using it at once, and their API costs surge. But anyway, let's try it out and see for ourselves. First of all, if you're not aware of E2BAI Artifacts, it's actually an open source project by the company E2B, which is like a sandbox environment for AI to run code and stuff like that. Anyway, this is an open source artifacts alternative that you can host locally and use. It's much more similar to V0 than it is to artifacts. Now that's good and all, but the best part about it is that they have a free demo that's free to use, and this demo has a bunch of models available. I had already covered it before, and now they've added the O1 preview and O1 mini models, which you can see here. Apart from this, there are a ton of other models that have also been added recently. So, let me show you how you can use it. Once you're here, you'll need to sign in with an account, and once you've done that, we can use it. Here you can see some options. The first option is the Persona option. The Persona option is basically the system prompt about how you want it to perform and what kind of application you want to generate. For example, if you want to generate a Streamlit application, you can use the Streamlit developer persona, or if you want to generate a Next.js application, you can use that as well, which is also pretty good. You have about five personas here, and if you don't see the one you need, you can also use the auto persona, which will keep the system prompt simple and the model can figure out the rest. Once you've selected that, you'll need to select the model you want to use. The best ones to use are the O1 Preview, O1 Mini, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but you can also use any other if you prefer. There's also the Settings option, where you can enter your own API key if you want, or you can set up output tokens, temperatures, and stuff like that. I wouldn't recommend changing these settings, and you don't need to enter any API key either, because it has its own API key that it uses. So, let's select O1 here, and ask it to make a weather desktop app. I'm using Next.js here, so let's ask it to create that and see. I've sent it over, and as you can see, it's working on it now. Let's wait a little bit for it to finish. And it's done. It looks pretty good. You can see the code here, which you can copy and use, or you can also preview it here, which is really good. You can refresh the preview, download the file here, and copy the code as well. Apart from this, we can also ask it to change something by sending in some follow-up prompts. So, let's ask it to do that. Let's ask it to change the color scheme to red. So, let's send the follow-up prompt and see. 
Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit and see if it works well or not. And here's the preview. It did what we asked it to do, which is pretty good to see. So, it works pretty well. And it's free, which I think is the best part about it. It's really cool and insane to see that we can use something like O1 for free. Apart from this, there's the O1 Mini model that we can try out as well. So, let's have a look and check it out too. Let's just select it here. Now, let's create a new thread. Let's ask it to make a to-do app and see if it can do this or not. Let's send it and see. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. You can see that O1 Mini also works pretty well. So, this is really cool. I mean, I don't think there's any issue here. Let's also make a follow up prompt here and ask it to add an edit option as well. Let's send it and see. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. If we look closely, you can see that it works pretty well. So, this is pretty amazing. O1 Mini works well too. You can use it with any of them. Plus, there are also other models like Claude, 3.5 Sonnet, and similar ones, which are also cool to use. All of them work well, although it can be a little slow at times. But considering that it's free, it's really cool to use as well. I like the interface here too. It's now very similar to something like V0, and it works pretty well. It's open source too, so you can use it locally with your own API keys, which is also pretty cool. Let me also tell you how you can set it up locally if you want. To do that, just go to the GitHub repo and clone it onto your computer. Once done, go inside the folder. Now, run the npm install command and the dependencies should get installed. Once installed, create a new nv.local file, and once it's created, open it. Copy this section and paste it into the file. Now, enter the e2b API key that you can get from e2b for free as well. Just get that and paste it here. Once that's done, enter the API key for the providers you want to use, and once that's done, we can start using it. To start it, just run the npm run command and it will get started. Go to the local host port it shows you, and once you're there, you can start using it. Let me generate a simple finance tracker app here. Let's send the prompt, and as you can see, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit, and it's done. You can see it looks pretty good. So, it's super cool too. But the best part, is the demo that you can use with O1. Let's see how long it stays that way. But overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, 
consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.